And welcome back to my channel. I'm Omotala and if you're new here, you're welcome. Please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon so that you always get notified every single time I drop a video. So in today's video, I will be joining again with my son and today we are going to be planting a bunch of vegetables. So as you can tell from um, the title of this video, this is going to be a plant with me slash what's growing in my garden kind of video. and the little garden is back again at checkers and we have been collecting some of the um, mini seed um, kits and today we're just going to be planting about six or seven of them and we're going to show you um, what's going on in our lockdown garden that we started um, during the lockdown and we're going to be showing you some of the vegetables that we are going to be harvesting today and I'll also be inserting some clips on some of the vegetables that we have um, harvested prior to this video. So in today's video we're just going to be following the descriptions or the instructions written on these packages. I will be showing you a b-roll so that you don't know if you can see this pod very close. So this is the little garden. I shall show them the one in your hand yes so we're going to be planting this and the one here that we have um, with asha is the beetroot so here they've cl clearly stated um yes. <laughs> they have clearly stated that, um the kind of fruit it is which is the beetroot uh it's also stated the um days or to maturity which is 80 to 110 days um planting season and it's a good um vegetable because it can go grow all year round and also the positioning so we know whether to keep it in the sun or in a shaded um place so i think this is really i think this is a really cool idea from checkers and this is the second edition we missed the first one because we're not into gardening at the time but the lockdown has taught us that you know we have to be prepared for some of these things and we have started a little or a mini garden um just on the veranda and we are using our flower beds and just planting whatever is in season and i've discovered that some fruits of um, some vegetables actually grow all year round even during the winter here in south africa so it is something that we are so interested in now and it's something i've gotten my son uh, interested in as well so he loves to garden he loves to check on the vegetables and he also loves to eat the vegetables so it's a great way to get them interested in vegetables the process of how it grows um from seedling to maturity and also Guess I'm interested in the cooking. Okay, so if you are not yet subscribed to my food channel, it is Cook with Tala Lucy. I will leave a link in the description box below. I'll be showing you how I use some of those vegetables that I grow from my garden in and impute them into our family meals. So please go ahead and subscribe, support me, and let's get planting, guys. Okay, so to start with, I'm going to be using this large bowl because we're going to be planting quite a number of them. And as it's written in the description um, here, put the soil pods on a saucer and pour for 40 ml of water over it. Then put on gloves and mix the water into the soil with your hands to make a wet mixture. Watch the soil expand. So that's it's like a fun size experiment for the children. It says plant the seeds vertically in the pot and cover with soil up to the colored strips. Okay, so the four things that we're interested in with this kit is the seed soil pod, the seed tape, the compostable pot, and of course the pop-up name tag. Okay, so once you're done taking out the name tags from this strip, don't be too quick to throw it away because there is a scan code here where you can save on some items. And this is just very handy because this says Huggies and my baby is still using diapers so I can get to save on um, diapers as well. So thank you checkers. It's a win-win on every side. So as Okay, I so I have all seven soil pods in this bowl and I'm just going to be pouring 40 ml each for each pod. You see?
right so after we finished planting all of the seedlings we took them out for some sunlight coincidentally all of these vegetables require full sunlight so let's go out okay so here we are on the veranda and the first thing we see is our coriander and of course our latest additions which are these vegetables and flowers um then we have the first bed that has a lot of peppers and some tomatoes in this bed i have some chili um, and some bell peppers and this is my green pepper that is now turning yellowish i'm curious to see what this is going to turn out um, to be this is the first fruit from that plant and next to it i have my sweet red bell peppers i have two that are ripe and will be harvesting later in the video and of course scattered around it i have some red pepper that are still growing just look at how big they are anyway moving on next to this bed we have the luscious greens popularly known as a four tete from where i'm from and it is very scarce especially the ones that taste like the ones we have back home so i got the seeds from home and i have planted them i also have some carrots in this bed and this is the largest one so far uh, i also have a lot of peppers mingled with these greens i'll be harvesting those ones later as well the next bed is empty and in this last bed we have some tomatoes and some paprika pepper these tomatoes are doing so well and the paprika pepper seem to be dying off i have harvested quite a lot from my paprika peppers also known as atashombo from nigeria and this is a plant i do not know but i'm curious to find out what it is so i'm leaving it and i have some new coriander growing next to it are my luscious mint i love the smell of these things i just come to disturb them once in a while to just smell them it just it's just very refreshing and of course finally my basil i planted this a while ago but it didn't do so well in the winter but now it's springing up and i have quite a number of um, seedlings sprouting out from the soil and so i'm just going to keep watering them and watch them blossom okay so um after all of this i have my red pepper uh nursery as i like to call them i start off all my um, red pepper in this box i plant the seeds and then transfer them to the bed some are due for transplanting and i'm going to be sorting that out in another video and of course i have some onions and garlic okay so in this bed i have about six onions and two garlics believe it or not they are all in one pot and they all seem to be doing well so these two back here are garlic bulbs and they've been there for about two to three months garlic takes nine months to grow i have about nine of them planted around my bed this is the third one and then i have six more in the last bed i'll take you over there they are with my um paprika pepper and new tomatoes there are about six of them in this bed by the way i'm saving the middle bed for um a weed it's uh i don't know what the botanical name is but i know it's some, just something that i love to eat my children love to eat it as well it's also vegetable and it's quite common back where i'm from so as promised these are snippets and pictures of some of our harvests during the lockdown this is the first carrot that we planted um, from cotton and it yielded a massive massive um, crop this is my son holding it he loves he loved the whole uh, turnout and the herbs that we got from this i use also in some of my cooking and this is my peppers i also insert clips of my paprika pepper while they were growing during the lockdown i have however harvested them and used them in some of my cooking and i'll show you my basil before i lost them all during the winter and 
of course i will be showing you pictures of some of the peppers that i have harvested from my um, mature um, sweet bell pepper the funny thing though is that i couldn't find any seeds at all in this pepper i don't know if it was modified to be that way but um, at least i got some really juicy peppers from them so altogether i think i have about four to five tomato plants that are still growing they are yet to flower so so this is a picture of the green pepper while it was still green and i kind of was curious to see what it would turn out to be anyway let's get harvesting so right here i have my little helper here he's going to be helping me hold the peppers while i cut them with a sterilized blade and this is just so that the um, plant doesn't get infected or anything and start to rot so here is the first pepper and we're going to be harvesting the second one right after it I'll be going ahead to harvest all of my F4 tete so that I'll be left with all of my peppers that are seem to, they seem to be getting lost in the middle of all of this. So this is the pepper that I had mingled in the greens. Believe it or not, all of this was under the greens, but now they are free and they are growing, they're thriving. I'll insert snippets of when I transplanted them about a month ago and a lot of them seem to be budding. Okay, so here's my harvest of the greens. You can visit my other channel for my Eforiro recipe. I'll leave a link to that video as well. Please don't forget to leave a huge thumbs up if you found this video helpful. This will go a long way in helping my channel grow. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye guys.